Hey guys, this is Chris here, and today I'm going to show you how to draw a Japanese garden. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our handy dandy green marker. And um, I'm going to start off by just drawing a line to, to show where the landscape is going to, to begin. Um, draw some grass. And then maybe you want to have a lagoon or like a little fountain in there. So I'm going to take my, my blue marker and just kind of draw a, an odd shaped uh, blue pond. There we go. Fill that in with a little bit of blue there. Now that you have the pond, you can do uh, some seaweed on the side. Um, if you have a bunch of different colors, you can use um, many different colors of green. Uh, you can use um, different colors of shades of blue as well for the, for the, um, for the fountain. Um, Basically, I'm just going all the way along the, the outside, just kind of creating a, um, a landscape here. And now maybe you want to, uh, if you have a, a brown marker or a brown pen, uh, you can use that. I'm going to use the, uh, the orange one here to start off my tree um, because it's the closest I have to a brown. So what I'm going to do is kind of just go up like this a little bit and make it a little bit wavy. And then you're going to do one going the opposite way as well. And just make sure the tree looks like it's very, it uh, has a lot of like knobs and notches in it. Um, and it's kind of draping a little bit over that fountain there. You could do another branch going up this way. Maybe there's a branch going that way as well. Then you're going to take your marker and fill that in with some leaves. And you can kind of do it however you want. I mean, if you want the tree to have more branches, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, just kind of stay creative and do your own thing. Um, if you want to put some flowers on there as well, you can do that. Um, a lot of Japanese um, are, are white. Um, you can put a lot of white flowers on there if you'd like. And then if you want, you also can take your, your handy dandy marker and do maybe a, um, a bridge by doing two arcs that are going parallel to each other. Here we got a railing and a railing going on this side. And then you're going to draw another arc at the bottom. And make that one a little bit thicker because that's where the, the floor of the, uh, of the bridge is. And then of course, we don't want people to be walking over into the water. So we're going to finish it off here with a little more grass. And then make it uh, so that the lagoon or the pond is going underneath the bridge. And you really can fill it in as much as you want and do your own thing and uh, keep it as, um, as floral as you want. You can put all kinds of flowers in there. I'm going to take my pink and just put a couple couple in down here. You can make them as simple or as complicated as you, as you want. I'm just doing a couple uh, little guys just to show you where we can put them in placement terms. And there you go guys, your basic Japanese garden.